A farmer has decided to build a wire fence along one straight side of his property. For this, he planned to place several fence posts at a gap of 6 meters, with posts fixed at both ends of the side. After he bought the post and wire, he found that the number of posts he had bought was 5 less than the required number. However, he discovered that the number of posts he had bought would be just sufficient if he spaced them 8 meters apart. What is the length of the side of his property and how many posts did he buy? So there are two questions here, right? What is the length of the side of his property and the number of posts that he has bought? So, so what is happening here? A farmer has got some uh, property. He has decided to build a wire fence along one straight side of his property. So one straight side meaning there is one straight length along which he has to build a wire fence. Now what was his initial decision? He had planned to put uh, posts. Posts are like, you know, some small pillars, let's say, at a gap of 6 meters, right? At a gap of 6 meters. And there will be posts fixed at both the ends of the side, right? Posts will be there at both the ends of the side. But after buying the posts and wire, he found that the number of posts he had bought was 5 less than the required number, right? So he ended up buying less number of posts. But then he also realized that you know, the number of posts that he had bought would be just sufficient if he spaced them 8 meters apart instead of 6 meters. See, initial plan was to put them 6 meters apart. But now he has decided that because the number of posts are less, he should put them six meter, uh, 8 meters apart. Right? So he has increased the gap between two posts, two consecutive posts by 2 meters, from 6 meters to 8 meters. So the question here is, what is the length of the side of his property and how many posts did he buy? Now, very simple. There is just a straight line here, right? Let's say this is the length of the side, L, which has to be fenced. Now, his decision is to put fence and, you know, a fence pose at a gap of 6 meters. So, let's say here is the pole number 1. And then after 6 meters, we'll have pole number 2. After 6 meters again, we'll have pole number 3. After another 6 meters, we'll have pole number 4 and so on. So on till the last pole. Now, if you have gone through our videos on uh, number theory, number systems, you would know that uh, the answer for such questions is simply obtained uh, as follows. Like for example, if I have to find out the number of posts in this case, what do I do? The total length is L divided by what? 6. Because you are putting posts after every 6 meters. So divide by 6. So total length divided by 6 will give you the, not the number of posts. It will just give you one value to which you have to add 1 to get the final answer. This is very, very important. Remember, the number of posts will not be L by 6. The number of posts will be L by 6 plus 1. Now, why is this plus 1 coming to picture? Why is the plus 1 coming to picture? You got to understand this. I mean, this has been explained through the videos already, but let me just give you a simple example uh, to help you understand. Let's say the length is 18 meters. Length is 18 meters. And if you want to put the post at a gap of 6 meters each, how many posts would be required? If you say it is L by 6, the num sorry. If you say that it should be L by 6, then number of posts will be 18 by 6, 3. Yes or no? If you say the answer is L by 6 and not L by 6 plus 1, then the number of posts required would be 3, right? But let's count the number of posts. See, the first post will come here. Then after 6 meters, another post would come. Right? So let's say this is 0 meters. After 6 meters, the second post would come. After 12 meters, the third post would come. And at 18th meter, after another 6 meters, the 4th post would come. So, if you, re if, you, if you check, the number of posts required here are 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4. But 18 by 6 is only 3. But we have got 4 posts. So, why is this happening here? Why is it not 3 and why do we get 4? Because, see, you also have to put a post at the beginning. When you say 18 by 6, what are counted? The 6th meter post is counted, the 12th meter post is counted and the 18th meter post gets counted. But what we have put at 0th meter doesn't come into picture. You are able to follow. 0 is like when you say 18 by 6 is 3, you have considered only the 6, 12 and 18, these 3 factors of 18, but not the 0 uh, meter as the pole. Because 0 is not considered to be a factor. But in, in physical uh, application, when you are, and very clearly he has mentioned that he has planned to put several fence posts at a gap of 6 meters with posts fixed at both ends of the side. Not just at 18 meter, but also at 0th meter. So this 0th meter pole is what usually we skip when we say 18 by 6 or L by 6. So plus 1 is for the 0th meter post. Right? So always remember when you have to deal with questions of these type, you have to take plus 1. Because one pillar will come at 6th, uh, 0th meter as well. Right? Not just 6, 12 and 18, but 0 meter also have a pillar.
So that's the key point here, right? But what happened? He realized that the number of poles or number of posts that he had bought were five less than the required number, right? The number of poles that he had bought were five less than the required number. But he also found that if he's placing them eight meters apart, then the number of posts required would be sufficient. If you put them eight meters apart, then the number of posts required would be sufficient, right? Now, simple. What will be the number of posts required if he has to put them eight meters apart? L by eight. You are able to follow. What is the number of posts uh, required if he has to uh, put them? It is like this. I mean, I'll, I'll directly explain in one step. See, number of posts, right? Number of posts that he has got is equal to what? He has got enough posts that he can put them eight meters apart. So, number of posts will be L by eight plus one. But this L by eight plus one is equal to what? It is equal to L by six plus 1 minus 5 yes or no the number of posts that he had bought is 5 less if he has to place them 6 meters apart but he, you know uh, enough when he has to place them 8 meters apart now solve this one equation get the value of l once you get l the question is solved are you able to follow are you able to follow L by 8 plus 1 is the number of posts if you have to place them 8 meters apart. L by 6 plus 1 is the number of posts, posts if you have to place them 6 meters apart. But we know that the poles were 5 less for 6 meter apart spacing. So this number of poles required if you have to place them 6 meters apart minus 5 will give you the actual number of posts. Which is also equal to the number of posts required if you have to place them 8 meters apart. Now solve for this and you get the answer. Right, so I think it is like uh, uh, you know L by six minus L by eight. L by six minus L by eight equals two. This is plus one. One minus five is minus four. Goes to the other side becomes plus four. So, or, or you know plus one and plus one gets cancelled. Minus five goes to the other side becomes plus five. As simple as that. Now simplify this. What happens? Six and eight. The LCM is forty-eight. So eight go uh, six goes eight times eight L minus six L equals to five. So 2L equals to 5 into 48 or L equals to 5 into 48 upon 2. So this goes 24 times and 24, 5 is 120. So we can say that the length of his, uh, the length of the side of his property is 120 meters. Right, the length of the side of his property is 120 meters. But he has asked one, one more question, right? Uh, how many posts did he buy? How many posts did he buy? Simple. You just substitute in this formula, you'll get the answer. Number of posts is L by 8 plus 1. So length of the property is 120 meters, number of posts, number of posts will be 120 upon 8 plus 1. So 120 upon 8 is 15, 15 plus 1 is 16. So he has bought 16 posts and the length of the property is 120 meters. Alright, so that is the final solution.